one. Warrandyte's Premier 11 rolled into the first round of the 2014-15 season with a drastically different squad than that which took to the park for the last round of the season prior. Many confuse the first 11 with a touring boy band, with a lot of fresh faces and teenage girls showing interest in the new collections of Bloods locals. Leading from the front was new skipper Chris Barry, new coach Jake Sheriff, and new club sex hound Luke Killy. The old dog Campbell Holland was still glowing from his recent induction into the Bloods Hall of Fame, and he claimed four wickets quicker than a fat kid at a cake buffet. The second 11 season started so promisingly. It was announced that they had a brand new skipper, Justin Cleaves. It was announced that this was the season some real talent would emerge from the secondary squad. The Titanic also made some announcements about reaching New York as well. As soon as you realise that Jeff Zack is starting the season and makes the third best score, you're in trouble. Technically, we shouldn't criticise a big fella in his 100th game, but if he still like bats like that after 100 games, then it's fair play. The third 11 welcomed back Cammy Day for a new season at the helm after Day took the second 11 to a flag last year. He thought he had a better chance dropping himself. Day would start the year as the top run scorer, with Warrandyte scraping over the line against the gay lords of his court. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Moore started the season off with two wickets, as well as Steve Buckets Lockie and John Prangalli. The next week, Warrandyte would make it two from two, with Day and Dale, shut the hell up, Lander, anchoring the boys to 12 run victory, with Buckets taking another two pegs. The fourth 11's first opponent of the year was East Ringwood, and the boys were let out by the Wolfman, Dylan Burns. The skipper, with the most famous beard since Ned Kelly, would have to wait a couple of weeks until his first win, unfortunately. Facing East Ringwood and Lilydale first up, the fours would need a Burns unit rather than the man himself. Jeez, what sort of shit joke was that, Hoiberg? That's going to be the quality of this night, and this night's going to be longer than a Tom Ellis' virginity. That's <laughs> If that's a quality we can expect tonight, then tonight's going to be longer than a Tommy Ellis dry spell. Two defeats and only Nathan Croft falling short of two consecutive half centuries would see the fours searching for some early hope. Jeez, we have a fifth 11 this year? This team's mixture of kids and old men is like a Rolf Harris birthday party. More exciting than Gary Glitter's endorsement of the selection policy was the return of Graham Chuck Norris Rees to the fifth 11 squad. Rees, renowned for the fact that he never wears a condom simply because there is no known protection for Chuck Rees, brought back some grad ECA nightmares with an unbeaten half century. Warrandyte would be square after the first two rounds, losing the next week to Kilsyth. Round one.